Want to know a secret to Kyrie Irving's handles? Let's jump into the gym and I'll show you. This is the secret? Absolutely. What Kyrie Irving used to do is he would take his basketball, he would just get a regular plastic bag, like a shopping bag, and put it inside it. And then all you got to do is tie it up so you got a nice little knot here. All right, now he got this from Baron Davis, who was also a great ball handler back in his time, so you know this helps. Okay, so you're probably wondering two things. Number one, what should I do once I got the basketball in the plastic bag? And the first thing that you're probably wondering is, does this actually help improve handle? Absolutely. So the reason it's going to help is because it kind of takes away your feel for the basketball, right? Because the bag's going to be moving around, so it's going to slide around in the bag a little bit. You're not going to be able to grip the bag as well as the basketball. And then you got this knot on one end, so when it hits that knot, the ball is gonna bounce a little more unpredictably. I know me personally, back in the day, I always, I grew up in Wisconsin, it would be snowing out, and I would always play basketball wearing ski gloves. We would play in the winter with these ski gloves, and you would get used to gripping the basketball even when you didn't have good grip on it. So if you can get that kind of grip over the basketball with a plastic bag on, or if you have like some ski gloves that you can put on, when you get it out of that plastic bag or take the gloves off, it's gonna feel like you have such better control and your handle is gonna get a lot more crisp. Okay, so you got the ball in your plastic bag, now what are you gonna do with it? Well, one of the things Kyrie's known for is having lots of moves, right? He'd always say he'd work on moves and counter moves so he has options. So that's what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give you some drills that are basically moves that you can wrap out with the basketball in a plastic bag. These are some of the moves that Kyrie does a lot. So if you wanna break more ankles, getting them down with this is gonna really help you get next level control when you take it out of the plastic bag and now you can dribble more like Kyrie. Now this first drill slash move is gonna help you a ton. But before I get into it, make sure you click that subscribe button and get on that notification squad by clicking that little bell so you can get the newest videos the second they come out they're gonna help you improve big time the very first one we're gonna do is an inside out into a crossover okay inside out into a crossover key points you want to pay attention to is give a little step with the opposite foot on the inside out hand comes from the outside of the basketball over the top pulls it out and then you really want to lean into this direction this is the way he does it a lot in games he'll give him a quick inside out and then he'll really step out with the same side foot as the hand that has the basketball and lean into that direction to sell that fake and then cross over okay when it gets back into this hand you're going to repeat opposite foot steps out step out with the same side foot lean into it and just work on wrapping that out about one minute of this will really help you improve that handle All right, you're gonna love this next combo, but before we get into it, make sure you click that like button if you're digging the video so far, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what else you wanna see from the channel. Next one's a nasty signature thing that Kyrie's got a lot of guys with. It's the double behind the back. But with this, I want you to do it a very certain way. I want you to do it by the free throw line if you can. If you can't, put some cones up about that same distance apart. All you're gonna do though, is go behind the back, and then on the second behind the back, you wanna slide to the side and try to get all the way to the elbow, okay? So one more time, just like this. Slide, get to that elbow. Set back up with the crossover. Boom, boom, the other way, okay? Back and forth, go ahead and do this for one minute. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is a Tim Hardaway signature move actually, but Kyrie does this a ton. It's called the UTEP two-step. Basically, all you're gonna do is go between the legs into a crossover, okay? And with this though, Kyrie will do it over and over and over again, multiple times, changing the height of the dribble, the footwork and stuff like that. So when you're doing this, you wanna kinda of play around with it, right? Put some shuffle steps in there. Do one more quick, one more maybe a little high, right? Hang the dribble a little bit higher on some of them. Wrap that out for about a minute, one way, and then of course, you wanna get your handle down going both ways, so wrap it out the other way as well. Okay, next thing he gets guys nasty with is the push out cross. Basically with this, you're just gonna push the ball hard in one direction and then cross over. But he'll play around with this. Sometimes he'll push it out and kind of leave it a little higher in the air all by itself for a little bit to bait defenders in and then go in the cross. And sometimes he'll just act like he's gonna attack hard and go into it. Basic idea though is to step out to that direction, take a dribble out in that direction with whichever hand has the basketball. And then again, go into that crossover. And again with that, you can play around with leaning into it or just making a sharp change of direction. So kind of play around with these details. That's one thing Kyrie's great at, is variating all those little details. And then you would repeat back the other side, right? Pushing it out, cross. Pushing it out, cross. Pushing it out, cross. 
play around with the dribble height. Maybe let the ball float on its own for a second, right? Back and forth, go ahead and do this for one minute. That's gonna help you improve a ton. Okay, this last one's probably my favorite Kyrie combo, but before we jump into it, make sure you click that top link in the description down below. If you wanna take your handles next level, that's a free workout. Just click that link, pop in your email. I'll send that to you instantly for free. It's already helped thousands of players. I'm sure it'll help you too. All we're gonna do with this one is again, kinda of like we did with the crossover, you're gonna push it out to one direction, but we're gonna change the next dribble. We're gonna go into a sham god. So, whichever hand's pushing the ball, the opposite hand's gonna come across to the top of the basketball. Also notice, the same side foot steps out as the hand that starts to dribble, but you wanna delay that step, that's a key. So push the ball, then step, as you're reaching with the opposite hand to come get the basketball. Then you're gonna repeat back on the other side, same thing, just flip everything around, and go ahead and do this back and forth. Again, you can play around with adding a few more steps in there, pushing the ball a little further. You could do it low and tight, back and forth, okay? Messing around with it, playing around with it, having some fun with it, and that's how you can really expand your handles, master your moves, and take the next level and start dribbling the ball more like Kyrie. Now, if you wanna see some more ways to take your game next level, make sure you check out this video, and if you want some more Kyrie drills, moves, secrets, things like that, check out this playlist. That's gonna give you a whole bunch more videos on YouTube that you can check out. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more, and make moves today.